Welcome to Marta Fasola's Photovoltaic Modules Factory. Here you can watch our fabrication process. The Marta Fasola factory is one of the most innovative in the market. It is fully automated and robotized by the top companies in their field, such as Spyacore and KUKA. The factory occupies 10,000 square meters, with 2,000 meters for the plant and 8,000 meters for the store. The production starts with the cleaning of the photovoltaic glass and the first tape of EVA. The glass must be carefully cleaned to avoid any contamination from dust or other material, which could decrease the final performance of the module. When the cleaning is finished, the glass is covered with the first tape of EVA, a plastic material that holds together the different components of the module. Once the module has the first tape of EVA, the robots begin to weld the photovoltaic cells to form strings. Robots take the photovoltaic cells from feeders where they are distributed by voltage and current to ensure the module's performance and weld the forming lines that are being placed above the glass forming the module. A technician makes sure that the strings are well brazed so that there is no connection problem between the different photovoltaic cells. Once all the strings are made, the module passes to the next stage, where a series of robots weld the strings between them and prepare the module for a second layer of EVA, which sets all components firmly to the glass. The module gets put into a machine that provides sufficient heat to melt the layers of EVA, encapsulating the cells and their connections. After the module is encapsulated, it enters the framing station. It should be stressed that the framing phase is the most innovative manufacturing process. In the framing phase, as in the rest of the process, there is no direct human handling. Everything is done with robots, ensuring the high quality of our modules while avoiding any contamination. At this stage, the robot cuts the excess material from the encapsulating phase and fits the module into an aluminium profile. The profile is taped with a special tape material. The Martifasola workers only have to worry about keeping the robot's feeders filled with aluminium, screws and taping material. When the module is framed, all that remains is to fit the junction box, a task also undertaken by a robot. An automatic arm lifts the module connections and introduces them into a junction box that is glued with an exact quantity of hot silicon, ensuring the perfect tightness of the box, one of the main problems of the competitor's modules. Once the junction box is completely fitted, the module is ready to absorb the sun. This is why we test each module with a sun simulator, a specialized machine destined to test the module resistance and to measure it in terms of power. The sun simulator will distribute the models in powers from 220 to 240 peak watts and create a label which is stuck to the module back with its current power. Once the module has passed the last test, it is grouped by powers and is ready to be packaged in the most convenient and safe way.